Well, welcome back, Squadron. This is Crafty Ninja here, and today I have for you, finally, another episode of Survival of the Ninja. Now, for the previous two episodes, I've just been completely unable to record. Well, that's a lie for the first of the two. The first of the two, I just really wasn't in a really good mood, and it's not good to record when you're in a really bad mood. But the second one, I literally had no time to record. Because it was on the 4th of July, so there was like nothing... I had no time. I was out with family the entire day. It was... it was a good day. And today... Today, today, today... We are going to make a smeltery. I don't know why, but I always take off my armor when I'm done. So let's just get everything. Yes, yeah, so we're going to make a snow tree in the good old base up there. So first thing we're going to need is a crap ton of cobblestone. Which we have none of. To the mines! Yeah, I really need to remake... I need to make a new mining shaft, because this is just not working. Let's just go around this way. Let's just go straight this way. And we'll be back after I get a decent amount of gobblestone. Alright, so after a bit of mining, we've got a few stacks of cobble. We even found a few diamonds, which is good. So, now for the long walk back, and a crap ton of crafting. We'll be back after that. Alright, after crafting a small amount of furnaces, I think it's time I go into a redstone testing world to figure out what kind of design for an auto smeltery I would like for my base. Alright, so I found a nice little design that I like. Um, so this is this would be the entrance and then we'd have one of these on each of these walls. And yeah, this is also the design of the super smelter that I've basically come up with. We've got two double chests up here for the items to be smelted. We got a double chest here and here for items smelting with, like coal and stuff. And then we just got the output chests. And we've got four um, furnaces in total in this whole machine, which is, which means we're going to act in total be using 12 furnaces uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, times three, thirty chests, and six trapped chests. So yeah, pretty cheap-ish. The only expensive part is all the hoppers I'm going to be needing, because that's, well... 12 hoppers for each module, 12 times 3, that's 36 hoppers, which is 36 chests, which is 300 and, well no, not 360, that would be 180 iron, and yeah expensive but worth it nonetheless so let's get started okay so we've run into our first problem we don't have enough iron and that's a big problem so first thing we're actually going to need to do is go and get more iron we'll be back after that's done all right 
So I believe I've mined enough iron to satisfy what I need for this little project. Now to go to the nether and get some quartz. Because, well... doesn't get unstuck. Alright, we've made it back in one piece with a, a hefty, good load of quartz. Now we just make more blocks. Make a couple more stairs. Boom. We've got all the stairs we need, and we should, in theory, have all the quartz we need. We just need it to 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16. Yes. We have all the quartz we need. We also have all the iron. Well, we will have all the iron we need. We just need all of the diorite we need. Darn. We'll be right back. Alright, just quickly went and got all the diorite we need. Now all that's left to do is get a bunch of wood and get the, uh, wait for the remaining iron to smelt. So that should be fun. All right, we have all the resources we need, so all we gotta do is just uh, take the nice quick and easy elevator up. One second. It's doing the thing again, dang it. I can't tell if it's doing the thing or not. while I'm recording. There you go. Alright. So now that we're finally up here, we just start building. got most of the layout of this done. I say we should start working on the first one. So it just gotta get all these up and in here. Oh. 
Boom. Now we'll just put in the chests, the furnaces. chests. Eh. Mm. And boom. Now we just put the nice little arch on top. Dang it. I had a feeling something like that would happen. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, <laughs> Alright. Boom. Perfect. Do it on this side now. Is that arch done? Well, actually, this entire smelter done. And we might have a situation wherein we don't have enough stairs. But that's not going to be that much of a problem. And yeah, we'll be back once we've, well, finished all the, the other two auto smelteries. And done. I have finished all of the super smelters. I haven't tested them at all yet, but I know they all work because in the uh, redstone world, I even tested them in the redstone world. And yes, I do notice that this isn't centered on the whole thing. The design wasn't an odd number in width, and I did not know how to change that. So it's going to be like this for a while. I honestly don't care all that much. As long as I have something functional. Uh. Well, that was really fun. I enjoyed it. Lots of fun. Lots of mining. We got some more diamonds, which is good. But, unfortunately, everyone, that is all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for weekly content. Anyways, I'll see you sometime and assemble a squadron later. See you guys.